Hi, I'm Brody Dell. And I'm Chris Bell here with Coach Dickey with our very last and very special Coach's Corner. Coach, how's your experience at Tipton High School been? Uh, fantastic. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I was, I was proud to come here. I was proud to be here, and I'm always going to be a Blue Devil. Uh, one of my personal favorite memories was playing semi-state a couple years ago. It was a real good experience. The crowd, the town was awesome. Everybody was there. Do you have any personal best memories? Yeah, all of those trips uh, were, were awesome. Uh, you know, that, that first time we went, uh, uh, people didn't really expect it. Uh, Greg, Greg got hurt uh, during, the middle, you know, during the first quarter of that sectional final game, and uh, it kind of, you know, it kind of showed you what, what we, what we kind of became here is we had 11 kids step up and play in that game, and uh, we had the, the lockdown unit in full, well, in full effect that day. And, uh, but we had, we had great leadership from, uh, uh, you know, from his, his classmates that year. Connor Rich stepped up and made, made a bunch of ball handling plays, and uh, Jake Dye became a starter. And, um, you know, I, that, that was probably, I mean, that was a really important time and, and, and pretty, pretty fun time. And uh, if I had to pick a single memory out of that whole run, uh, Michael Voris standing in front of the Blue Crew uh, in our regional game when uh, we'd been in trouble the whole game. And he kind of got loose and scored about 10 or 12 points, which was a good number for Micah, especially against a six foot 10 kid. And the next thing you know, he's standing in front of the Blue Crew with the ball on his hip. And everyone kind of knew, hey, we're ahead, and we know what to do when we're ahead. And we, we went on to win that game, and that was just awesome. I've got that picture in my head for probably forever. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Well, uh, we hear that you're going to end your coaching career here at Tipton. Sad, but what are your, some of your future plans Can you share with us? Uh, yeah, we, we're, uh, you know, we're going to Franklin Community. Uh, there's the first source of confusion probably in, the, in town. Uh, uh, there's a Franklin Central in Indianapolis uh, who's actually on our schedule now. And um, there's a Franklin County out uh, east, in eastern Indiana. Uh, uh, but no, we're going to Franklin Community. That's the town of Franklin. It's just south of Indianapolis on 65. And uh, it's a 4A school. Uh, they are 1,700 students, give or take, in the high school, uh, which is a bunch. Um, it's not a mega school. There are bigger, <laughs> there are schools that are twice that size, actually. Uh, so it's it's a big school, but it's not one of the mega schools. So that you know that gives us a good sense that we can get to know some people and, and we feel comfortable there. And um, you know, the the kids can't possibly be as good as 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 the Tipton kids. They just can't be. But uh, uh, but we we feel like it's it's going to go well, and we feel like we're going to be able to work with a lot of kids. And uh, you know I've had some there's some different opportunities there too for me as a uh, as an educator. Uh, you know, I have some supervision responsibilities, and I get to be in the uh, uh, the athletic director's office. You know, and that just one of those things. Uh, big schools get a chance to have they have multiple assistants, and they have uh, deans, and they have uh, assistant athletic directors, and so uh, you know, it's just something small school really can't mm -hmm. offer. That it'd be awesome, you know, if they could. But uh, uh, you know, that that's kind of what's got us calling, and uh, it's also one of the best facilities probably in the whole state just for, for uh, basketball and for all the sports and arts. And it's just a, you know, it's a really beautiful brand new building. And so we, we feel like we're, you know, hopefully going to a good place. Because I, I know at this point we're, you know, we're getting ready to leave a really good place. That's, that's just a fact. Okay, so with you leaving this coming year, school year, what are you going to miss most about Tipton? Well, in, in the short run, I'm going to miss, uh, I'm going to miss this next team. I mean, I, I, I'll tell anybody, uh, you know, that, and I, I probably know. Uh, this looks like a regional championship team to me, you know, and, um, and, and you guys are a part of that. And there's a bunch of young kids that did such a great job last year uh, that, uh, you know, I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't know how the changes are going to go. And I know, I'm sorry that there's going to be an impact like that. Uh, but I know I had estimations of uh, uh, probably beating Frankton in the regional final. And, and taking another team to uh, to a semi-state again. I mean, I, I honestly just feel that way for the team. Um, you know, but but outside of outside of this group of kids and, and the talent that's that's still here and, and coming down the road, um, you know, this is just a great geographical place to live. You know, and I, and I think teenagers are supposed to want to get out and check things out and, and see the world and all that sort of stuff, but. 
you know, in time, I think everybody's going to look back and go, man, what a what a beautiful town, what a you know what a great situation we're in here uh, uh, for for the for the geography of it and for the people of it too. You know, that's it, ultimately it has to come down to good people, and we've got we got tons of good people right here in town. So, do you have any last encouraging words for not only the basketball team but like the basketball community as a whole? Well, yeah, and it may come probably in the form of a maybe a regret um, because for all the success we've had and all the good things that we've done, um, we should have we should have had even more fun. <laughs> and I know we had fun, but daggone it, we should have had more fun uh, because these are these are just great times. You know, this is a these are these are great teams, and we have great kids that, that represent our school. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of all the guys that have played for us, and and uh, you know, and I, and I and I know I know we've done a lot. We already talked to the guys. I had a chance to meet with a bunch of guys, um, and I just I wish we could have done more. As much as we did do, and I wish we could have done more. And I wish we could have had more fun, and uh, and and I hope more people feel that way going forward in this next opportunity. Because I I don't, you know, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know how the changes are going to be. But I know for a fact that our team is going to be good. Our players are going to be good. We're going to represent ourselves well. And uh, so let's, let's have a bunch of fun, everybody in town. Well, it was nice to sit down with you, Coach. Yeah, good luck. You, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Brody. Well, we really appreciate all that you've done for the school and the program, all the great success that you've brought to our school. Great coach. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. Thanks. Have a great day. See you.